Welcome to another FEMAP tutorial. And here we're going to take a look at how to work with the complex geometry that we're going to take and we're going to have to do a structural analysis on. We're going to have to work with all kinds of features in order to get it ready, process it and then analyze it, right? So, uh, we're going to do some uh, defeaturing, mid-surfacing, meshing, setting up constraints, loads, all kinds of stuff. And since this would be an extremely long video, we're most likely going to bake this up into like a nice series. Alright, so let's get started. First, we're going to import our uh, geometry, which was done in SolidWorks. You can see the SolidWorks sign here. Open, and it was saved as a parasolid, so we can actually import it here. We're going to scale it by one, so it's whatever size it is, we'll leave it as is. Let it work out all the details. There you go. It's a pressure vessel that contains all kind of details that we can see. And as we can notice, we know that if we want to do a structural analysis on this container, we do not need absolutely everything here, right? A lot of these bolts, maybe this handle, uh, several bolt holes here, and other things that are absolutely not going to benefit us by anything if we leave it here and perform a mesh and then an analysis on this structure. It's Therefore, our first step will be to defeature it. We can start by simple deletion. So let's go to delete, geometry, solid, and there's a bunch of stuff here that we can pick from and start deleting. Let's say I'm going to pick this bolt right here, right? And we can go one by one by one, all of them that everything that we don't need. We can highlight it to make sure we picked a good one. Okay and delete it and there you go it's gone we can do the same thing over and over or another method would be to box select and get rid of a bunch of stuff that we don't need all at once in order to do that let's go up here and select solid on the one next to it selector mode go down make sure is add to selection is selected and uh, select all inside and select multiple okay we have these selected now if we hold down the control key and with the mouse we can drag a nice circle and get everything that we are interested in All right okay once we see everything nicely selected do a right click with the mouse go to visibility show all selected now we can get rid of a whole bunch of things that we are currently not working on therefore makes our job easier right well, let's say we did not work on this, right? We don't want to see this. So, we can go back. Remove from selection. We can do this guy. And then update. Right click. Visibility. Show selected only. And there you go. That one's gone. Very good. Now, let's see. What do we need to delete from here? We need to delete all the bolts. This support maybe this rim, but I do need this green part and maybe the lid as well, right? To do that, uh, let's uh, go back here, clear our selections. Let's go make sure that add is selected again. Here, leave it on solid selector, and I'm gonna select this one, the green lid, and I'm gonna select this purple one as well. There you go. Let's Good, so let's hide these right click visibility hide selected good now let's get rid of all of these because they are unnecessary so now now one little detail if you would go delete geometry solid right now it will delete whatever is selected and it still has selected the things that we hid and we don't want to delete that so make sure you click this selector clear now he release those and now you can go to delete geometry solid you can select all highlight that is not good we don't want everything so clear selections 
we just want these. So let's do a control and do a nice circle. Box select them. Now highlight, good. The rest of it is not. Okay. And delete. Good. Now control Q. Bring back back the visibility window, highlight, uh, uh, vi visualize all, done. Good, let's see what is gone and what is not gone. Do we like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. See this little arm or the handle? We could not delete that separately because it's an integral part of this lid solid. If you would delete that, it would take the solid with it. So we're gonna have to remove that in a different manner. Now let's uh, go ahead and go to the meshing toolbox right here next to the model tree meshing here uh, go to feature removal open it down feature type let's click on loops and let's see there's two options here I'm gonna pick this one and then let's uh, start removing some of the loops we can remove these the bolts See, they go all the way through. If we click on it, it gets rid of it. Let's see, did it go all the way through? Or do we need to do it in the bottom too? Yep, we need to do it at the bottom too. It just does it on the top uh, geometry. There you go. Now we cleared it on both sides, right? So we're going to have to do all of those. And if we take a look at this handle, it's also a loop, right, at the base. So if we click on that, bam, that's gone bye-bye as well. So let's uh, one by one get rid of all these. Now I'm going to keep using the same feature over and over. I'm going to remove all these bolt holes here. There's no not going to be any change, so we'll leave it as is. Uh, remove all the excess stuff here. Uh, bolt holes removed here, and I believe down here too. Okay, so we'll jump forward to that. Okay, there you have it. A whole bunch of things removed that we don't need. Here you go, bolt holes and other accessories that have no business in being a structural analysis. So, are gone. And over here, let's take a look. We're going to use some different tools because we have a little flange over here, or key or whatever you want to call it, that uh, is sticking out and I don't want it. I want to make it circular all the way around and get rid of this one. So, we're gonna keep working in the meshing toolbox. Let's go to geometry edit. We can do this one, the edge to edge and uh, split at closest. So I'm gonna pick uh, this, let me zoom in, this line and this line and therefore it's gonna split it for me right there. And now I'm gonna go to geometry solid do a slice, a slice with a curve, okay, and I'm gonna pick the solid that I wanna slice, highlight it so you can make sure, okay, the curve that we wanna slice with, this one that we just created, okay, and what direction we wanna slice in, so we can pick uh, maybe with three points, define the curve, and I'm gonna define it based on these three non-collinear point okay and there you go now we have two different solids this is one and this is another one so we can go to delete geometry solid and see we can select them separately so click this one highlight it only that little piece okay and delete and it's gone very good now let's fix this little uh, chaos that happened there we can go back to feature removal and instead of uh, loops let's go to blends we're gonna select this one right here select the solid that uh, we wanna work with uh, the front let's see this one okay up uh, the blend 
update blend that we want to work with so that's this one okay and there you have it it's all gone nice and circular like the rest of it good one other quick tip of the day when you're working on something long and it takes you hours and a lot of steps make sure you do this so save as okay make sure you save it in different with different names at different steps as you keep progressing because if you work in here and you do something where I don't know you don't like it or it went wrong or whatever and sometimes the software will not let you do a control Z anymore you can't go back anymore so instead of having to start all over again from where you, you were in the beginning right you can start from I don't know five minutes ago ten minutes ago so you only, you only lose a few steps a few minutes of your work instead of the whole thing so remember this one because it can be quite frustrating to start from zero now let's take a look at uh, we have some chamfers and some fillets here and there so let's uh, get rid of all of those as well so we can do those in bulk so let's go ahead and feature removal and uh, do the blends again but this time we're gonna select the entire structure entire geometry and click OK and then it'll just go through everything update blend OK and it'll just go through everything and let's see what it finds and what it fixes and then we can uh, come in and verify was that a good decision to do everything or not if not then we'll go do control Z and go back and do it one by one but it looks like it fixed this one it fixed this one this one is all good I'm happy with that let's see anything else also check make sure you didn't mess up anything you know sometimes uh, it misunderstands something and it can uh, cut. oh look at this one uh oh <laughs> that what uh, uh, Oh, both sides man grew some ears all right so that's not a good thing it did remove the nice uh, blends around here but yeah these is interesting ears that it grew it's not good so I'm gonna go ahead and do a control Z and uh, make sure we deselect those but I don't see any other issues down here all good okay so let's do a control Z there you go get rid of this because this is supposed to be like these not those giant elf ears that it grew so let's do it again so select select all but let's see can we exclude add remove exclude so exclude this guy and this guy okay so okay everything else leave it as is okay let's see this one this time okay so again all the fillets and chamfers are gone good 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 and I don't see the big elf ears awesome very good much better okay all right that's uh, pretty much it for this episode make sure you tune in for the next one where we're gonna keep continuing the work and get this thing processed all right have a good one everyone